guys this is a review of the PureBear version 2.3 on Samsung Galaxy UI uh, ok let's start with it uh, here is the dollar application uh, you get an awesome data here let's make a quick call here is the on screen dollar and uh, here is the cds bar get an awesome cds bar here with an awesome animation and uh, here you get the pure settings application you can customize your cds bar here uh, you can manage the edd tweaks you can change your battery options clock options and signal options and uh, here's the user profile you can change your profile pic here in the cds bar here and uh, here is the brightness slider here is the settings shortcut and just move on here are the awesome wallpapers uh, which are by default available in pure card version 2.3 uh, you get an awesome collection of wallpapers here let's take it as the vault uh, here is the kitkat brand logo uh, just long press on it and you get, an, uh, you get the android kitkat 4.4 logo and uh, additionally, you, uh, you, uh, you get a pure card plant logo. It's just same as the kit card logo, but it has a pure card logo on it. So, not much difference there. See this? Uh, you get the utilities here. In the utilities, you get the CPU settings, uh, CPU shades, Droid Wall, Galaxy Toolbox, Link to SG, Beats Manager settings. Uh, CPU shades, CPU settings, uh, leave it. Okay, so here's the pure cat uh, description by Sanjeev Kumar. He is a developer of this room. And uh, okay, so let's move on to the settings. I get an awesome settings here with the Wi-Fi Bluetooth on and off switches in the about phone you get the pure card logo here and uh, in the Android version you get the uh, KitKat logo obviously just long press on it and you will get the Android KitKat, KitKat plant logo whatever okay so it's a clock application sorry it's a contact application sorry here is the messaging application and here is the conversation here is the new message here is the default keyboard and uh, yes we have uh, two keyboards here the Japanese I and me uh, not much difference there it is just a simple basic Japanese keyboard leave it as it is ok so here is the clock application calculator application Here is the calendar application. Uh, it won't show. Here is the camera. Camera application. And uh, additionally, you get the OI file manager by default. Okay. Here is the link to SG application. You get the Beats Manager version 2 here, and uh, these are the default system applications. And uh, here's the music application. Uh, you get the MIUI music application as default in this room. Okay, so along with it, uh, here's, a, here's the super, super user application. And uh, Back to slider of it. Uh, quite interesting. Theme like uh, the room is theme like uh, jelly bean only. It has uh, some features of KitKat also. Uh, the room is also smooth and fast and quite stable. Here's a browser. Uh, 
sorry for the bad video quality actually I, actually my uh, webcam is broken so i have to buy a new one so i am recording with this my other phone and uh, sorry for the voice quality also that is the main cause here is a place to uh, leave it so i guess the room is quite stable and fast so you will like it and uh, obviously here is the lock screen ok guys yes, thanks for watching uh, i guess the room is smooth and awesome and quite stable and uh, it's stable for daily use and it's based on AOSP and uh, ok guys yes, thanks for watching please recommend and subscribe and do like this video and share it thanks